Hey hi Garbage Squad, Foxy here with Dimensional Predator. Today is with Alunia. Let's try to beat this and try to teach you guys how to beat it as well with my runes or different type of builds and what monsters and replacements. But before we get into that, I do want to say thank you to the recent sponsors aka the members of my YouTube channel Angus, Alexander, Z or Z Wizzles, Ellie and A Fisher. Thank you so much and for those who are wondering how to become a member, if you see one of my videos you click that join button, you pay any amount in different tiers. One of the benefits of being a member is you can get a review whenever I stream. Yes, I still review for everyone in general, but that's first come first serve when I do an account review video, which is not too often just because it doesn't get too many views. So I do it whenever I can. Anyways, let's get into this video because I have something really unique that I want to try. So the most common team to beat the predator is gonna be fire because a really good monster for this is uh, Vela Jewel, but also um, Vela Jewel and Bailger. So Bailger is going to be your damage dealer with your Rauk. And obviously Verd and Rauk gives you a lot of turn cycling. And because runes don't really matter in this dungeon, the turn cycling is going to be really, really key. So this is your core three, I'm going to believe. Your two turn cyclers, your tech buff, and your healer. And the last two picks, um, your number one pick is going to be a Bailger for damage. Because in the mid boss, like the previous month, you do have to beat um, multi hit it. However, I'm not gonna pick the bail girl. What I'm going to pick is my fire demon. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to make him useful. Uh, but I think bail girl is a hundred percent better. Anyways, the last monster. If you're pay to win like me, you're gonna have a Vela Jewel. If you're not, if you don't have a Vela Jewel, you are going to pick the Lisa, the Lisa or a Draco, because these two provide cleansing, and the dots, the boss. If you have dots, he will do more damage. Vela Jewel is obviously the better pick compared to Draco, just because a Vela Jewel can cleanse off the dots and any debuffs on you. So if you have a debuff on you. Oh, I forgot, to, oh, I forgot to show you the runes. Okay, I'll show them to you after. Anyways, if you have a debuff on you, it can cleanse it. So what I found here was, on this stage, if you have a Vela Jewel, you can cleanse off um, what the Rahul does. But if you don't have a Vela Jewel, I'd probably suggest you attack this thing right here, the Yetis, because the Yetis can slam your Verd or your damage dealer, and then you lose a lot of damage um, because it'll, they will just, just keep targeting you and nuking you. So. You will see right now, you see how much damage he's doing on me. And this is one of the benefits of Vela Jewel versus Draco because you won't have to cleanse here, right? And then we go for the kill here. And then you want to put your Colleen on Violent here. Because if you don't put it on Violent, you can't turn cycle and kill. This is what's going to happen. You are going to die here. So I, can, I, can, I probably kill myself right here doing this. Oh, but I wait, I wait. When do when did this guy heal? Okay, never mind. Maybe he's a safer option than Bilger because he can heal. <gasps> Today I learned something. Oh, okay, okay. I, I, I'm feeling the wind demon. I mean, like, I mean, the, the, this demon all of a sudden. Although my, this demon has no skill ups, whatever. My, my point still stands true. If you do not have violent on your Colleen, it's going to be really, really tough here. So my Rauk is built on slot six accuracy. The reason why it's slot six accuracy and not like attack is because the Rauk is your only defense breaker on this team. It's going to be very very important to land a defense break. And the moment you land a defense break, I would not use your route to target the side boss anymore or the boss that has a defense break because your route can go crazy and just scratch it to death. And then if it scratches it to death, you're probably starting from scratch. And you see this Vine proc, very key to help me getting another turn here. And then Bella Jewel, because your stats are so high, his skill two scales off defense. And because your stats are so high, you're gonna do a lot of damage. I'm not going to use Scratch because he can go ape crazy and then I will lose all of my stats. Oh, okay. I got to do more damage here because I don't think my demon can kill it off here. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to skill one to lower this a little bit more. It's got to be a little bit lower here, like around this mark and I think is when it's safe. No, please don't proc. No. Oh my God. You see what I mean? If Rauk procs there, you are donezo, but I'll lose a defense break here. I'll lose the defense break here, which means I can't kill it, and then he revives. So, ah, you gotta time it perfectly here. And if I die here, the defense break, right? Over. So you have to time it perfectly on defense break, and you have to have the exact 
um, attack buff. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys the stats. Like I said, I would. It's slot six accuracy. The speed is not too important because um, of how the dungeon works with extra stats, but do make sure that if you can, this unit goes first, okay? And this is just high crit damage. And the Vela Jewel is just on violent on crit damage build. So you'll see my Colleen was on a crit damage build and high crit rate because I, I feel like with, with high enough towers, she's not going to be squishy and die. So if she's not squishy and she won't die, you might as well have the extra damage is, is what I'm testing here. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know if it's like 100% true, but I do want to point out something here. Um, you've noticed that my route goes first and you're probably wondering why is because route's base speed is 108 and the dungeon makes it so your stats are 10x. So the route is actually 1080 speed. Right, so that's his speed, and you compare it to Colleen, even though she's faster, the base speed differential is kind of what makes it really nutty. Okay, then it's really hard to speed to. Okay, and we lose our buffs here. No, we don't go for a heal, dude. This heal thing is pretty premium, like I swear. Okay, anyways, you should be able to kill this dungeon off here, and then you should be able to heal back up with your Colleen. And we're back again. So what we learned last time is we got defense break it quickly with the slot two with slot six accuracy, heal back up, and then uh, go attack down. So if you have your verd on violent, you'll notice my verd wasn't on violent. But if you have your verd on violent, the opportunity for you to beat this is a lot higher because you cycle so much attack bar. So if I fail this, I am going to do that again. I am just going to go ahead and re-rune it because mine's on a PC-10 build with the crit damage. Okay, Rauk, you're going too crazy here, my man. You are too crazy. We need... I don't even think I can whack this right now. I'm pretty sure I cannot kill this, but YOLO! Oh! <laughs> okay, well, there you saw it. No damage, right? No damage here. And then route defense break. Okay, and I'm just gonna keep aiming him. You're gonna keep aiming him. And defense break this for the setup. Don't be like me, right? This video is teaching you how much HP not to do it, all right? Don't be like me, guys, all right? Ah, okay, defense break you. You see the crit damage build? It, it broke the shield, right? Like, yeah, kind, of, kind, of, kind of pretty good. If you don't have, like, if you have towers like me, pretty good, okay. Oh, this is over. I had one chance at the beginning. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is not good. Uh, okay, this is not bad. Okay, Rauk is going crazy. Okay. So this is where you have to, like if you have a bail gear here, I would just save your skill three. Um, and get five stacks from the previous stage and then just go in crazy. But, no, please don't proc. <laughs> Rauk, please. I've done this too many times, Rauk. Leave me alone. Oh, this hurts my soul. Oh my god. Okay, maybe I have to do less damage. Oh, please don't do it. No. No proc. No proc. Okay. Okay, this is it. Okay, this has to be it, right? This has to be it. Okay, we finally made it. <laughs> okay. So what I noticed on this stage was if you target the dark monster, it makes the Vigors heal. And if you target the Vigor, you're probably going to glance and you're not going to do a lot of damage. So if you don't do enough damage, it won't make them heal. So that's what I noticed here. So I'm going to go ahead and spread the damage and make these guys heal. And then it won't use skill 3 and like slap your... Okay. Oh god. It's... Oh, it happened. Okay. We are back at this stage. I learned my lesson. If I get randomly defense broken by this unit, I think it's probably more game changing than me dying to one of these dark units here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna defense break it first and then just get that garbage out of here. Okay, look at this. Crit damage calling, a tons of damage. And then I'm gonna do this to give it attack bar. So just to cycle a little bit more. So definitely this is the premium version, but don't count all Belger. Belger is definitely very good here, okay? But I'm getting so much attack bar from like these three units. And maybe this is what the dark, this is maybe the, what the fire demon was good for. This is like his only purpose in life, right? For this one specific dungeon, maybe. I have not seen him work anywhere else. Um, and I've tried really hard to make him work. So don't even say I haven't tried because 
He is just a pile of poo poo. Okay, except for here, he looks pretty good. Okay, look, we are super premium here. Bond, bond, if, you, if you can put bond, like I don't even care what substats they are because stats don't really matter. All you really need is like accuracy, crit rate, and crit damage. If you have like HP subs, fantastic, but if you don't, like who cares? Because at the end of the day, your stats are 10x, right? So, it, so it's very minimal. And I highly suggest because you don't get crit rate 10x, you don't get crit damage 10x. So you should just go and use those stats. Don't even care about speed either. Like the speed tuning, you saw my my route goes first. It's a little bit messed up, but it's not end of the world here, okay? So I think we can definitely beat this on the first attempt here. Okay, can we do it here? All right. So here, you do want to save your cleanse before you have dots, right? So for the, for the last stage, do not just use randomly use your Lisa. Make sure you have your skill three to cleanse here, right? Like right here is going to be really important to cleanse. The boss doesn't do super tons of damage. All right, I'm going to go for the attack bar increase here and then go for this and then cycle some more here super premium team i'm gonna say i'm liking it all right he attacks me i don't have any dots no negative damage here pretty good right oh he's gonna slap me again okay i take it back no negative damage Twenty thousand. okay <gasps> all right tons of damage here 120k crit damage build slap him and then we go for the next stage here all right so this would be really nice if the Rauk teams up and brings the Kaldin to help you reduce the attack. So what I'm going to go for is the Vela Jewel here because he's got that cleanse and it kind of mucks up my team. You see I always use skill 1 on the Rauk because that slots its accuracy, right? So I really want to do tons of damage to it with the defense break setup here. Like it's so important to have the defense break setup. I'm like just opting out for the skill 2. I'm going to save the heal here because I really don't need it. And then we have Vine proc, so I have it anyways. And then we move to the next stage. We have our heal. We have our cleanse. Put the cleanse up here. The immunity could be your Draco in this scenario. Tons of damage. Defense break. Yes, we got it. And then I'm going to save the skill 3 because I still have the attack buff here. Okay, Still have it. And keep in mind, my demon is not even max skilled here. Because if it was max killed, I'd be doing massive AoEs and then boom! Okay, now with the attack buff here, because my calling's a little bit weak. I, he's able to get a turn, my calling's a little bit weak, I'm going to buff back up here. Okay. Um, and then, you know, just go for the nuke here. Ah! 84k, dude. Premium! Uh, okay, and now I have skill 2 on the Wind Demon to heal him back up, right? I have the skill too for the next stage to heal him back up. We should be good here, okay? Okay, I'm gonna go for this guy. I don't want him to turn cycle. Or do I want for the, the route because he does a lot of damage. If he scratches me, I'm dead. Let's go for the route instead. Because what's the point of Verd turn cycling if he doesn't even get a turn, you know what I mean? So let's go this, attack bar gauge, heal back up, and then nuke this. So if you guys have a Vela Jewel, put it on crit damage. If you have a Colleen and you got nice towers, put it on crit damage, right? We got massive deeps here. All right. Heal block. Okay. We're looking good here. So I want to turn cycle. I don't even want to use skill three. I want to save it for the boss stage here. Okay. And then we should kill him. I'm going to use team up because I already know next stage I'm a defense break. So I'm going to bring a chance to cycle my cooldowns here. Okay. There we go. And now I should have my cooldowns back up for whatever. And then I have the Vela Jewel cleanse here. Or if you had a Lisa cleanse, also works. So defense break, boom. And then we're just gonna go in. We're just gonna go hard, okay? Tons of damage here. Cleanse, immunity. And then we just go truck. And then, oh, boom, get that garbage out of here. And this is a free W, crit damage calling. You saw it here first, on violence. All right, I'll show the runes again afterwards, but after this run, I'm gonna talk about what um, what rune and what rune's good and what rune's bad, okay? And what I'm personally gonna pick is, I'm still up in the air. I'm gonna decide on the video, to be honest with you. Like, this is still up in the air, all right? So, there's only really two and 2.3, 2.53 options, okay? Endure, out. I don't care how desperate you are for triple quad roll speed on slot 6, endure out. This accuracy is actually really good because 3 of the 4 makes sense. But in the long run, you're never going to use accuracy. And this game is a marathon. You want to get good runes for late game. You're not trying to get one good rune to help you progress to 
um, do giant speed call or whatever, right? You want to play the long game unless you're very casual and you really need crit damage runes. Okay, maybe this would be the pick, but nine times out of 10, I'm gonna guarantee you this is not the pick, okay? Which leaves us the despair, nemesis, and will. Let's talk about the will. The will looks fantastic, right? The substats are great. If it rolls high speed, fantastic. If it rolls defense, speed, accuracy, pony rune. But the reason why I will not pick the will slot to HP is because in today's gameplay, it is very, very difficult to even use slot 2 HP. There's only a handful of units. Leo would not use will runes because he gets first turn, so it makes no sense. Beast monks can use this, right? But think about it. A beast monk is going to be really beefy. But if he's really beefy, but with no speed, how are you going to get turns? So this rune would have to roll pretty high speed for you to use it for a beast monk, right? You wouldn't use it for a paladin. Paladins are tanky, but you need slot 2 speed to have a turn. Uh, I know there's more monsters at the top of my head, like Antares, for example. No speed, but you put it on will. You can, however, revenge is like another good build, right? Do you really want to get a rune for Antares? Probably not. You probably want to use a rune that's more universal. And right now, there's very limited monsters that can use slot 2 HP. Slot 2 HP. The meta in RTA, Guild War, Arena is slot 2 speed. You need to go first or have really fast like quad triple rolls on every route to make up the lack of slot 2 speed and that's the reason why wheel slot 2 is not my choice which leaves me on despair and nemesis okay so right now a the despair meta is your junos your prahas your irises i don't think there's any other meta units that are aoe that can really use it and Omdua can use it right and Omdua can use it i'm, I'm correct myself right um, Despair of Zyros, but for this to be a Despair of Zyros or, or a Poseidon even, it doesn't really have the crit damage, crit rate, it has the attack, right? But if you use like a Bruiser type monster, true. Also use it for Triton, if you use a tri Despair Triton to just cheese. Despair Chiwu, if you want to cheese as well, not the best build, but definitely viable. It, like right here, you just want to dodge the resistance, right? So three times out of four, you're going to have a good roll. If you roll the resistance, maybe you can use it for a, uh, maybe like a broken set, right? Nemesis. Slot 6 attack is one of the rarest ones because for a lot of early game, mid game players, you're, you're going to be struggling, struggling to find DPS sets, right? You're going to be lacking crit damage slot 4s, you're going to be lacking crit damage slot 6s. So this one right here gives you the crit rate, gives you the speed, accuracy, resistance, kind of dead. And let's think about it even further. In the long game, who really uses the Nemesis slot 6? The Dragonites can use it, Miho can use it, and Garo can use it. At the top of my head, not many other monsters really benefit from the attack gauge on a slot 6 attack. For slot 6 HP, definitely the Oracles, for example, right? And then we look at the substats even further. Accuracy doesn't really do anything outside of the Dragonites for, except for Leo. It does, actually does do something for Garo and Miho, but at the end of the day, do you really want accuracy for Miho and Garo? Not your first choice, right? And the resistance is obviously kind of a dead stat unless you build your Dragon Knights, um, well, Leo and Garo and Miho on 100 resistance, which I highly doubt, but Miho, definitely a case. Leo, definitely a case. <sighs> Laika, not really. Chao, 100% no resistance, right? So which kind of leaves you 2.53 of the stats are good. For me, what I'm weak in is the slots, slot 2 Despair. If I can get one of these to be really nice and tanky, I'd be kind of set on my account. But at the same time, I'm kind of broken on slot 6 attack. It doesn't have HP, it doesn't have defense, so really hard to use on my Garo and my Miho and my Dragonites. So at the end of the day, you can't go wrong between these two. If you pick this one, I think you're gonna be really, really, like you're, you're, you're like fishing for something. You really need to upgrade your Ritesh, for example. Maybe you really need to upgrade your Panda, for example. I don't know. But my choice is going to be the Despair slot two. Even though this looks fantastic, I think I'm going to pick this. And I will. Oh, I'm regretting, no, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like low key regretting it because I know it's gonna resistance. <gasps> Oh, crit! Oh, it's accuracy. Oh, yikes! Oh, yikers! Oh, this is hard. Gar this is hard garbage. Okay. Well, 
Anyways, hope you guys learned something. Fire Demon, fantastic. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and see you in the next video.